and we are live. Uh, it's not four o'clock, but that's because uh, I figured it out sooner than I needed to, and uh, just making a few adjustments. So bear with me here. We are going to need to make sure that uh, our uh, devices are working properly. And so it's taking me one extra second. Hold on, hold on. There it is. Video started. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get going here. So let me double check that we have our devices locked in. It looks like they are. Come on, phone. Come on. Sorry for the shaking. I think that's it. Okay, okay, okay. So right now we're looking at my other phone. Let's move these out the way. This is uh, this is the Samsung Note 5. We're going to be drawing on this later uh, at a different date. So uh, we'll get to that. And that is going to be on Thursday. So for Thursday, look for, um, for drawing on the Note. Today we're going to be drawing on the iPad Air. So let me double check that we have um, a live connection. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I like it. There it goes. Okay. Let's turn that off. Uh, and then, of course, this is my phone. Let me double check that we have. How does it look? It looks good up here. You can't see I have the... Cintiq up there and there it is look it's up so that's good so we have good connection powerful um, video and uh, on the right hand side you'll notice that I have a pile of devices we have the iPad Air uh, iPad Pro uh, Surface Pro iPad Air Samsung Note 10 and the Dell Venue 8 and then the, De uh, the Samsung Note 5 up here, which you can see a little bit of the corner, is uh, the Cintiq. So every day of the week, we're going to work on one device and, uh, and show you how professional artists or a dedicated artist will work with any device to create artwork. Let me grab some headphones to make sure we got good sound. And uh, and then we're gonna get started. So if you're uh, so per person like me, I get paid to draw, and uh, and in the course of my career, I found ways to collect some of these devices. And uh, it's not a bit easy. It's not an easy. Uh, it's not easy to uh, get the devices that you want, and they're not cheap. But the fact is that little that anybody who's working in digital art or any kind of art, what you want to do is find ways to collect that kind of devices that you're going to use, the technology that you're going to need, the tools that are going to allow you to create the artwork that you want to create. And so my process has been to find ways to barter, to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, make deals and at times purchase the, the, the devices that I'm going to need to create the artwork that I need to do. And in the, a long time ago, it was all about, um, it was all about pencils and markers and I, and I have a ton of that stuff still, uh, and sketchbooks. And now because a lot of the artwork that I create is, uh, for, for clients, and uh, and it's going to see my art is going to see um, life a whole different way, and um, in a digital world, I need to draw digitally. So that's where this whole idea of collecting devices, collecting machines, has come into play. So let's see if we can get the lighting. Oops. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Of course. Let's get the lighting a little bit easier. Let's see if we can make it better. Yep, 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 that's, that's the danger. Let's get some lighting here. 
a little bit. All right, just so we can have better light. All right. So if you have any questions, please ask them. Please say something so I can hear you. I can make, I can hear myself. So that's it. That means that you can hear me. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and start with what we have here. Right now, I am on the iPad Air. This is um, for now. Nowadays, you can get the iPad Air for a couple hundred bucks. Brand new, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, and uh, but on, if you go on Craigslist. You'll definitely find a good deal on the iPad Air. Uh, we have a 64 gigabytes of capacity. Right now, I've got a ton of stuff on this iPad. This is my uh, uh, next to the bed iPad. I, um, I sit around and uh, consume content with it. I use it for a lot of games. And since I work in uh, in in creating the artwork for games, I, I check out a lot of games that uh to see how other artists and how, uh, how other developers have figured out to contain the artwork in the screen so inside this uh, ipad is really not made for drawing the ipads are historically created so that we can consume content but i have installed some drawing apps I got this beautiful pen from Adonit. They sent it to me to try it out. I've been drawing with it for a while now. I got the hang of it. It's the Adonit Pixel. It is a, a stylus that's really made to work with the iPad Air and iPad Mini. I have an iPad Mini somewhere around here. And my go-to apps are the Adobe Sketch and Adobe Draw. The Adobe Sketch, I've been, it's, uh, it is exactly what it says. It's for sketching and getting ideas out i most recently finished this uh drawing of um shuri and uh it's taking a while it's very heavy it has a ton of layers mm -hmm. and uh and let's see if we can turn those on there it is and uh, you can see that the layers go on and on and on it has a clear background because i needed all the layers i had to delete some I've had to condense some layers and uh, just to, so I can finish this drawing inside the app. And then when I exp export it from here, it goes straight to uh, either Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, it's my choice. And that's why I like Adobe Draw and Adobe Sketch because I can send this Adobe Sketch to Adobe Photoshop on my uh, desktop and I can finish the artwork, clean it up, do all the edits that I need to do so then I can have a complete uh, drawing that's ready for print and web all right so my other go-to app is Adobe draw and so with Adobe draw what I like about it is that it allows me to uh, draw right here on the screen but it um, when you export it exports as a vector file so here's a project that i was working on let's see if i kept some of those uh no I, yes there's something here let's see no i got rid of some of the layers already uh, let's see if we can see that yep there it goes some of the stuff you can see still um and so it's real easy to get started with a uh a illustration and then export to adobe illustrator and it is still a, uh, and it becomes a vector illustration. So that's what I like about Adobe Draw. This was a project that I worked on. And uh, here, let's go with, uh, I started drawing this one. This one still need a fix. So here's uh, another digital illustration. And this one is a gorilla and it is in layers again. I started the sketch in Adobe Sketch and then I moved into Adobe Draw and each layer has uh, a different element that builds up on the illustration so there we go there we go look at that that's crazy and uh and then when you export all of this 
it uh, onto Illustrator. It is a vector illustration that I can then use for stickers and t-shirts and anything else that I want to create with this drawing. So my process when it comes to creating artwork is to figure out where is this artwork going to live. So here is a design that I made some stickers for from and there is uh, my phone. It has uh, my sticker. I, uh, I created this illustration here in Illustrator and I mean in Adobe Draw and then I export it to Illustrator. I added all the extra elements, sent it off for print, and now I have a sticker. So when we talk about um, what tools to use, it comes down to what you need to do, uh, what do you want to see finished, and then you choose the software and the drawing apps to make it happen. However, nowadays, just about any device that's out there will, uh, will allow you to draw on it. So we got Medibang Paint, Sketchbook Pro, graphic comic draw and then designer uh, this is affinity designer so I have extra apps that I've not really used as much because my process to finish artwork always ends up in Photoshop or Illustrator and so that's why I start with these two apps so uh, when I'm in Android and, and when I'm in the iPad these are the my tools right here when I'm uh, drawing on the surface pro it's a whole different process and I have another app for that which is sketchable uh, let's see. I get the question a lot and I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to get started with Adobe Sketch and uh, I have no idea what I was going to draw. However, I think I do have, as a matter of fact, let me do some fan art because I love the artwork that Keith Cross makes. And uh, let's see if uh, what we have here. Come on. Um, um, so I was going to say, um, I'm going to start here with uh, drawing here on uh, with Adobe Draw and then uh, move along through my process and finish a sketch within this hour. If you have any questions, please say something. Please uh, leave a comment. Please leave a question because we are live here on YouTube. This is one my first YouTube live uh, stream. So let me check any messages on Facebook because I told people to come to YouTube. There it is. We got that. Bam, bam, bam. All right. We're good to go. All right. Cool. So here we go. So what's my process like? Okay. So what I like to do is uh, go ahead and get a sketch out. And um, there is... Uh, a couple of uh, extra things to keep in mind when drawing on the iPad Air with the Adonit Pixel is that palm rejection is not automatic. You have to click this little hand design right here. And, uh, and by doing that, you're, uh, you're cutting off yourself from up moving and uh, panning and zooming with your hand. So let me, come on, let's... Uh, Trying to get something going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. There we go. There it is. Sorry. Interruptions. That's because we're live and I am just making things happen here. There we go. There we go. Come on. There it is. There it is. I'm trying to. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I got a screen up here so I can see what's happening and get me what I want. Let's see. So, uh, yes, there is a, a hand right here. And when you click on that hand, uh, palm rejection becomes on. Or right now, I just turned it off. So then I can pan and zoom and do all these things. But when the palm rejection is on, I cannot do those things. It won't let me because it's turned off so that I can lean on the, the tablet or the iPad and start drawing. And uh, it helps if I have a pencil see that very cool so uh, so so now uh, the reason why this exists on the iPad Air is because the iPad Air was not designed to be drawn on it's for consumption media consumption so uh, the answer 
for uh, adding a drawing st stylus to the iPad Air is to it, to have uh, to add that palm rejection so that when you're drawing and le leaning on it, nothing happens, which is a big danger when you're drawing uh, digitally on any tablet. So I turn it on when I need to draw. I turn it off when I need to pan and zoom. So you just got to get into that practice of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. When I'm drawing, I select the sketch layer that I want to draw on, and then I turn, I, I put away the, the layer so that I don't accidentally touch one of those layers. I also turn on the palm rejection, and then go ahead and get the sketch going that I want. So in this case, I like starting with a face, and it doesn't have to be a perfect face but it's gonna be a face. Let's see, bam, bam, bam. Let's see, and if you're uh, up to date and what's happening on the streets, you'll know what I'm drawing here right now. There we go. I'm just sketching and getting my lines out. Let's see, let me, uh, Zoom in on this character here because there we go. I need to see his face, his whole, the whole of itself. There it is. And when you become um, accustomed to other devices like the iPad Pro and the Surface Pro, this little turning off and on of the palm rejection becomes annoying. Right, but that's because you are you've uh, you've tested and tried, or you you own a device that already allows for that, and uh, and so. But if you're starting out in the beginning, then uh, it's not a big deal. It's just an extra step, and uh, I encourage anybody to not get deterred by the fact that they don't have the latest and the greatest. It's okay. Use something to draw with. Use something to get started with so that you can get used to drawing digitally. Okay, here we go. So he has a chin. All right. There we go. So I'm not being super accurate right now. I'm kind of just making sure I get all the elements. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the Adonit Pixel does have a couple extra buttons here. You can prog that, program them however you like. I'm not into that. I don't care. I like to just uh, get to drawing. I like to have a, uh, a stylus in my hand and just get to drawing. I need to just draw and be free. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. And that kind of connects right there. That kind of connects right there. It doesn't, it's not wide, it's kind of narrow. He has a narrow face. And then of course he has the lines. And I'm sitting here, word up. And then, uh, and let's uh, get that. And of course, so he has the lips. And uh, if you know anything about this character and the creator for this character, his name, the character's name is uh, Merce, and the creator's name is Keith Cross. And we just did a uh, uh, podcast live downtown. And let's, let me, my version is going to have, there we go. And then, of course, my version is going to have the, um, a little tooth sticking out. And then this is the, so it's a little bit, uh, when you're starting out with digital drawing, I mean, just use whatever you got. As time goes on, you'll realize what you like, what you don't like about certain devices. And then, uh, and then you can start looking around. One of the things that artists ask me all the time is what do I prefer? Do I prefer the Surface? Do I prefer the the iPad? And the truth is, I like them both. I don't like one more than the other. 
I draw on them equally. Um, however, I do choose one over the other when it's time to get some professional work going. And the reason I prefer the surface above the iPad is because the surface has full Windows software. It's a full computer. So if I'm drawing on Sketchable and then I want to move into Illustrator, I just turn on the next app. I just start it up. Whereas if I'm on the iPad, then I need to uh, export from the iPad to my desktop to go ahead and work. And uh, it's not a, such a big deal because I do have um, um, the Creative Cloud, but um, when it comes to w the process in which I like to draw with, then it's uh, then it's gonna be the surf the Surface Pro. And one day I like to have a Surface Studio. That's that. That's that's the next on the list. All right, so right now what I'm doing is just making sure that I have all the elements here um, before I clean up just so that I can see what I'm drawing. As you can see, it responds really good to pressure, really good to the touch, and uh, it does have some random lines that just kind of jump up, and that's because, again, the iPad Air was not made to be drawn on. Just artists like me are kind of uh, stubborn in that we want to see some artwork happening here. Because it's such a great screen. It's a great screen. It's a great machine. It, uh, it is versatile in its nature. And, um, and when Apple came out with the Apple Pencil, you knew, you knew artists knew that we were going to have some fun with that. All right, so here we go. If you notice, I keep turning off and on. The palm rejection is just uh, something that you kind of get into the practice of. There we go. Yes. Very good. So when you're drawing fast, it's real easy for it to look a little crazy. Let's see. And then uh, here it's going to have, there you go. There you go. That's all right. If anybody has any questions, let me check to see what's going on here. Uh, you got to use the mouse. All right. I have a welcome into us, and it's awesome. Ink trap, thank you for coming through. Uh, nice. Yes. Hey, use what you got. You use what you can. Uh, whatever works for you is great. Um, and I think that's the point that I want to make here today and what I why I'm going through the seven day series is that uh, Seven day digital challenge is that I want artists to know that whatever tools you have around You can create awesome digital art and uh, and not to wait to have the most expensive most um, recognized hardware and software to create the artwork that is gonna make you happy and that people are going to recognize you for. Okay, so there it is. They black. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know I was going to draw this today. Otherwise, I would have tagged Keith Cross, the creator of Day Black. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Let me take a picture because I'm going to uh, post some of these pictures later on. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I like to do a lot of uh, work in progress photos. I don't know about y'all. Okay, so let's see. So right now everything was on one layer. Let me click on that. There's the layer. Let me turn down the opacity of the layer. Create a new layer. There it is. Now, when I work in uh, Adobe Sketch, I keep it all sketchy. I don't go into a whole lot of different tools. As you can see, there's a pencil, 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 pencil. They're just different color pencils. Um, um, I uh, I like to just go ahead and get the sketching going. I don't I don't feel like going through all the different uh, finishing except when, as a matter of fact, when I finished um, uh, Shuri, I did use just um, 
I did finish the artwork here, but I only used the pencil. Uh, that was all pencil, all pencil. Someone asked me if it was watercolor and it's not, it's just pencil. All right, so now let me clean up this artwork and this is gonna be, <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry about that. That is gonna be uh, fan art right here. Uh, let's see, so now it's gonna keep it black because it's day black. Put the hand on and now I can take my time and go like this and that's bad. And, oh, th that part is red. Those are red. That's red. So I'm going to go like this. And just go. See that? There we go. There you go. Yeah. All right. Now, the nose. Of course, I didn't finish the nose, but... That's because I had an idea of how I wanted to. And I think that was my, that right there was my, uh, my, my, my hand. So let me turn that on. And when I go with the two finger swipe to the left, that is the undo. So let's go here. Bam. like triangles yep you got triangles I like looking at other artists artwork and um, and breaking it down into shapes there it is and let's go like this all right there we go perfect as yes. there it is got that so then let's take it down because it's going to be shadow work. And then the lip, the upper lip. When I got the, uh, hey, 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 I need that. When I got this um, Adani Pixel, oh man, I just, it was a little tough to figure out in the beginning. But I'm so glad it, 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 I have it because then I can then use my iPad and I have two iPads. I have this iPad um iPad Air and I have an iPad um uh mini and now they are drawing tools and I love having drawing tools. Yeah look at that it's got the tooth hanging out and then I can put some lines here. Yeah so um so when so when I got this uh Adani pen, it took a while to get it to get it to work the way I want to. Um I did not understand some of uh how to con supposed to connect, but uh it didn't take any much uh, it didn't take long for it to work. Um I just did not have these devices set up for drawing with a pen, so that was a little bit of an extra effort. But once I got it to work there you go. So now, turn it off. Um, that lip's kind of huge, but huh? His his lips are not that big. Let me go here, get the eraser, and see. There we go. Turn it off and turn my eraser up. Here we go. Turn that down. There it is. See, very simple right to the point and now there he is so and that's gonna be black so then this is gonna be black okay so right now I'm really more concerned with uh, getting the line work in I can shade it later I can do all that if y'all have any questions please say something some comments let me know what you're working on uh, do tag me I am Delta Tango Mike and uh, I have an uh, Instagram, I have uh, mm -hmm. Twitter. Just tag me in your work. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know what's up with you. Let's go with the, bam, yes. And then he has lines going in. Something about the artwork of Keith Cross. I love all this line work. He did a tattoo on me a few years ago. I got another tattoo I gotta get from him and it's all line work and it all hurts 
it is terrible. It, it does not. It's it's just a constant line. But it's worth it. The feeling is terrible, but the artwork is worth it because then you end up with a piece of artwork that uh, you couldn't get any any other way. It's just no other way for you to get this kind of drawing without all those lines. All right. There we go. So now, uh, getting a little bit of the face shape and the jaw. Let's get the jaw. Yes, that works. That works. There we go. See that? Yes. That's too, too small. There it goes. And then, uh, so you see, I think that it, no matter what tool you have, even if it's extra annoying, and this part is annoying to me because I'm already used to having different machines that uh, I can, I don't have to do this uh, palm rejection button uh, process. But even it, even with it, if you take your time, you can create the kind of artwork that you like. And uh, if you sit here, carefully measure yourself. And, uh, and and that's the fun of it. I mean, come on. And then I'm going to share it and tag Keith Cross and, and he's going to give me props. And one day I'm going to dress up as Merce. Yeah, cosplay. Why not? However, in the comic and in, actually in the film, I already... I'm already a character. There we go. Maybe I dress up as myself. Anyways, here we go. That's good. Oops, I need that. Turn that off. So now, uh, what, trying to do this other side. Yeah, I don't mind going over the line. Let's see. Let's go like this. That's that. And now I can go here. And I can go there and another one there that's good I don't need to do that so now actually I do need it because I need the eraser and let's turn that off so I can go like this you see that slowly but surely I'm getting the drawing in there the key was to go ahead and get the sketch out so that you can see uh, where you need to fix something, where you need to have um, more detail, less detail, more control. And let's go with this. Actually, yep. I need to turn on. Let me zoom in. Turn it on. And there it goes. Bam. Huh. Got to be careful when my hand goes over to the right. Let's go like this. Let's go like that. And let's go right here. Turn that this way. Turn that back on. And it's gonna, it's gonna go like this. Yeah. Let's turn this off. Let's turn off the other um, layer. There it is. Yes. Yes. It's coming along. I like it. Alright, let's go with the other side here. Turn that off. There it goes, and now let's turn on. Don't like that. Don't like that. I think, uh, come on. There we go. Let me see what happened here. There it is. Turn it on. It is a little bit extra work. Let's turn it off. You just gotta kinda remember to do that. Bam. And uh, let's see. I need to do some dots and, uh, oh yeah, the headband, the hat band. There we go. I don't like that line. A lot of questions I get is how do you get your line so smooth is practice. 
and uh, this is not uh, made for drawing so well so not all the lines come out super perfect but it is practice and practice and practice and I guarantee you that your lines will get better and better there we go yes and uh, for anybody anybody still coming online right now thank you for joining us thank you for being here please leave a comment let me know what you're working on and follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook as Delta Tango Mike there we go hmm, I'm missing the neck here go there it is you see that I don't need this I need this yep let's keep leave it on there we go put that back on as a matter of fact now we can go high with it get that out the way and let's see how much can we feel it I don't like that it's too too wide. There we go. And there it is. I'm just kind of coloring it in. And uh, I don't know how long have we been on. Let's see. Because I said uh, I want to do an hour. And um, and if an, if an hour is good. Oh, it's 36 minutes. So we got time. We got time. I may be able to jump on the Adobe Draw. Let's do that. Let me jump on Adobe Draw since we're here. And let me sign my name. Yes. There we go. And so uh, let's get that. Do a screenshot. Pew. Done. Close it. Saving the sketch because I'm going to jump on Adobe Draw. Let's see where we're going to put. Oh yes, let's put him here. Let's get a new document. It's going to be letter portrait. Let's bring in an image layer on my iPad. Da -da 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 -da. Come on. There we go. Stretch that out. And give me one second, be right back. back anybody else is here please say something thank you for the thumbs up all right so we are in Adobe draw I imported the image I'm gonna move this image below here turn on this layer so I can work in this layer I have my tools here on the left and they're all brush tools except for this one as a matter of fact I might stick with this one let's go up with it here and let me turn down the opacity of this one remember I did that at the other with the other now I do not see the palm rejection here I don't see that too let me double check that I have my stylus on no it's not connected let's go here the, the, the key the light turn green and now it connected my pen Adonic Pixel I named it Adonic Pixel DTM it is on there's the palm rejection on look at that now let's go ahead and lay my hand on here right nothing happens let's pull 
get rid of the layers and then go here look at that it's super crooked yes yes okay let's try let's try a different line mm -hmm. so the line is super thick I don't want that line let's go to 5.5 Mm-hmm. But let's make it straight. Mm-hmm. Pulling it towards you, it is uh you have more control of your line. What I like about Adobe Draw is that when you export it becomes a uh a um vector when you open it in Illustrator. So I do not have uh, pressure sensitivity, and I'm okay with that. I think um, this uh, this pen does not allow for the good uh, pressure dynamics, huh? There we go. Let's see. Oh, look at that! It it is on. <laughs> no, I don't want it on right now because I like how it comes out as uh. Come on as one um, same size I don't want the pressure dynamics but it does support pressure oh that's a big deal right there okay let's go let's go let's do this here mm -hmm. let's go this way here all right and I'm okay if it's crooked because that's how the art of Keith Cross looks like. It's very grainy. And uh, there we go. And this is okay because I'll tell you what's going to happen. It's going to get filled in with, with uh, black. Is they black? All right, now I like that line. Make it bigger. Mm hmm. Mm hmm let's close that there you go and then let's go here and let's go like this make the eyes similar in size please let's just go like this because I want to show you how I'm going to color this in there we go all right turn this off hold this right here this is an enclosed space right here BAM 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 I held I just I have an enclosed area here goes another area and uh, let's go here and once I have an enclosed space I'm gonna hold down the pen for a second and then it's gonna color in that space. There's no need for all this coloring in this and coloring in that. All right, so now let's go ahead and get the nose right. It's a straight angle. Hmm. My, my uh, line work, it wants to test me. There we go, there we go. There you go, see that? Close space. Come on. It is a close space. There it is. Uh, let's go with this side. Close space. And then um, I'm going to go like this. Done. Let's go like this. I like it. Let's go like this. And see, the more I'm drawing with this tool, with this um, pen, with this uh, iPad Air, the better I am getting. I don't know if you notice that. I can feel it. I can feel it in, in my hand. I can feel it in how I'm drawing. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm missing something here. Well, I'm glad I see it now. Here we go. All right, and then this goes down like this. You see that? And yeah, let's fix that. There we go. And now let's go here. Now I I do draw I do draw with another app, 
is called a sketchable, right? And what I like about sketchable is that when you draw real close to the edge of uh, of the um, UI or the tools, and uh, the tools disappear, they get out the way. So I really kind of like that. I like that. So let's go here. I need a line. And let's go here. Let's make it stronger because it's kind of way out. Hold it. No, no, I'm not going to go because there's an opening here. There it is. Now I can close it. Look at that. Dang. I'm going to show keep cross this uh, this drawing. Maybe he'll make me his inker. Get me a job. Let me see. Here we go. Bam. Bam. See that? Square. 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 Or rectangle. Bam. Shade it. Shade it. So I'm glad I came into Adobe Draw to do this because in Adobe Sketch, I sit there, I have to go back and forth, back and forth too much. I don't want to do that. And now I'm going to zoom in some and then do some lines here. And then there's like a little dot. Come on, dot. I guess that's his mustache. It doesn't do dots. We'll figure out the dots later. All right, let's do these. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got half his face done. I'm not a fan of drawing one side and copying to do the other. Not when it's a drawing. If it's a logo, if it's some kind of illustration that needs to be perfect, then maybe. Here we go. And let's go like this. Uh-oh, somebody. Phone, be quiet. Here we go. So how could I, you know what? This is a, it was a five. So let's go like this. Uh-huh. It's, uh, it's not giving me the dots that I want. Let's go four. Oof, too big. Oh, I know what happened. There we go. Let's go two point. See? There we go. Come on. Pencil. There we go. But it's not giving me like. There we go. Now I'm getting it. See? Almost. Come on. I think it's the angle or the speed. Am I going too fast? Am I not pressing hard enough? What is it? What is it? And uh, and I just I gotta find that sweet spot. There it goes. It's about how to handle the pencil. I don't like that one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go one more now. There we go. There it is. I think I was going too fast. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I don't know if this will get me the job. But uh, I think Keith, Keith would approve. And if he don't, well, well. Well, you know. I still like my drawing. Well, let's go in tighter. And I think it's, uh, it's about having... Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't check that I have the tilt. Stylus, palm preferences, and so that's sideways. And uh, there we go. I think that's the one that I use. Uh, we'll see. Okay. So now let's go ahead and go here and let's make uh, this uh, other, see if I can do it. Oh yes, I need to fix that. It's the wrong size, it was 5.5. Uh -huh. There we go. And that's, that's bigger than 5.5. I don't know if that's the right size. Be 
because this, yeah, that's, that's bigger. Is it mm -hmm. Yes, four. Let's go with four. Um, let's see what the messages are. Uh, we're good, we're good, we're good. And let's turn this on over here. And let's do... Alright, like that. Let's go like this. I like that. There we go. Yeah. And I did it without the power rejection on. Hmm. Huh. Oh well. Just do what you want, Dan. I know. That's what I do. Yo. Alright, here we go. Let's see. So his um beard and triangles are Gotta go slow with it. Hold it. Hold it. Too wide. The beard is is uh not the same. Okay, so now I gotta do the other side. And so what I will do is Mm -hmm. I guess I'll do it uh, across this way too. Turn that on. Mm -hmm. There it is. Mm -hmm. Go ahead with that. Get my eraser because erasers exist. Let's go like that. There it is. Alright. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the table. Okay. Let's go back to the pen. There it goes. Oh. Mm hmm Okay, I got some lines that still need to be done. We got all kinds of lines that need finishing here. So we gotta go this one. There it is. Is. Now I need the stubble in the face. And um, the lip. So let me turn this down. Let's go to two because we were at two and a half. Turn that back on and I need to have. Right. Let's see what's that look like. Turn it off. Turn off the other layer. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm almost there. Um This needs to be black. This needs to be black. Um oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna do the face. I don't need to do the rest. Alright, let's go and make a new layer. Okay, the new layer is going to have the color red. So that's how you pick colors. Real easy. And then uh, let's change the tip. It's going to be basic brown and uh, eight. Let's go with five and close these. And then I'm going to go like this. Oops. Well, you know what? Where is it? Let's turn that up on top. Come on, put it on top. There we go. And let's go like this. Oh, so this one is, uh, um, uh, what you call it? Pressure dynamics. There you go. It's like, damn, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm doing something here. Hold up. And that is because, oh, I want to go like this. Right, because the eyes, the eyes uh, need to be red and the chin, and then the uh, the cigar. Oh, well, there we go. This is how you draw in layers.
done. Okay, and then I can go like this. Move that down here and look. Bam! Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> Not bad. Oh, okay, okay. Still need some uh, details. Let's go fix this cigar. Alright, let's go with this. Let's do it like this. Oops. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, turn on, let's get our red and go clean up this right here that you can see. If I um, really want to be cool, 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 let's make a new layer. And because I'm DTM and I'm a little crazy, we're gonna go ahead and get our black. Change, oh, we need to change our tip. As you can see right now, I'm turning all the tips the same because I'm going after the same um, style all the way across. So let's go like this. like damn but that is black right there why are you doing that because I can go like this let's go ahead and multiply not that it's gonna change much but there it is let's go with that come on let's see get erase that oh yeah I had that on Hey, 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 I didn't turn on the hand rejection. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There. That's it. Let's uh, zoom in. Let's go like this. Uh, probably a two. Yeah, there it is. I keep forgetting. There we go, because I get excited. Uh, that this was too fat. Let's go with, there we go. TM 2018. There it is. Bam. Yeah, Day Black. That's what we got. Day Black by Keith Cross. Merce. His name is Merce. There we go. Let's uh let's do uh let's write that out because I don't want people to think this is my drawing. Well, it's not my character. Merce, and it's uh, Day Black Comic, and that's where you find him. Day Black Comic by. Keep cross there. Shoof. Not bad, huh? Pretty good for an hour. We sat here and uh, this, this drew drew this design on um, on uh, Adobe Sketch. We started. Uh, where do we go? Right here. And let me show you something. Um, uh, let's do the time lapse so we can see what happened.
there it is so we started off um, just kind of sketching out the idea go ahead and quickly get the the major shapes out the way and then go in and clean up your lines so that you can just focus on the ones that are gonna make a difference I can save this time-lapse video I will post it on my Instagram Delta Tango Mike but from here I can export to um, uh, not not this one from here I can export to Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop I don't want to do that just yet because this was just a, a sketch right all right so once we did that then we brought that drawing over to Adobe draw and again we have a video of what happened here so there it is let's try it let's check it out there we go I started drawing and as I was drawing I started blocking in the shape so that um, I can pay attention to where I was going I added extra shading he does not shade his uh, comics like this I, I was just doing that and then there's the video and I'm gonna save this video there it is save the video I'm done and I can export from here to Adobe Illustrator. And when I do that, this is going to be a vector. And then he can use it for t-shirts, uh, blankets, shower curtains, all that stuff. All right. So this was my process. This is what I worked on. This is DTM. Follow me anywhere on the internet at Delta. Ooh. Wow. Turn that on. There we go. Delta Tango. And if you're ever in Atlanta, uh, just ask me for a sticker. I give my stickers away for free. Delta Tango Mike. That's me. Uh, you're checking out Vector Maestro. Stay tuned for the next few days. Today was the iPad Air. Tomorrow's going to be Del Note 10. Then the Dell Venue. And then the Cintiq, that's this big machine sitting right here. Uh, and then uh, Note, iPad Pro, and Surface Pro. All right, this is DTM. Talk to y'all later. Peace out.